about it. Yeah, yeah, diamonds are literally like not actually worth anything, but what the store that sells it to exactly. values it at. Exactly. Talk about it with Gatika. We are here live and direct. Do you see who I got? <laughs> ah, the hip hop advocates are in the building. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? I am John Fix. I'm Erupt. I'm Bella Music. We are the Hip Hop Advocates. Yeah, let's go. Hip Hop Advocates, thank you so much for coming by today. Welcome to Studio Square Recordings. Thank you. Thank How you. was the travel? Horrible. Yeah. Really I know you're on the other side of Queens, right? Not the middle. The middle? Yeah, no. not only that, the weather's crazy. Yeah, no, yeah, Today yeah, was a weather's... shitty day. A lot of accidents on, on the LIE. But we're not going to let that affect our vibe. We're here for fire vibes only. They had me on their podcast, and I must say, it was one of my favorite interviews that I've ever been interviewed on. That's what's up. Man. And I want to be totally honest with you guys, I totally have been using your segment and i hope that's okay with you what's up that's what's up. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, no. I'm, I'm saying it here i'm saying it here like the picture thing it's oh, so fire it's that was cool. you like, that's you yeah i i've been using it and everybody loves it each one teach one yeah. yes Ooh, but i'm yes. giving credit where it's due these gentlemen are the ones who put me on you know what i'm saying we can bounce vibes yeah, off yeah. of each other right we all get ideas from one another there you go there you go we actually started a new segment uh, bars with whatever the artist is. Oh yeah, we got that. I mean, we didn't get it from anybody, but it got influence from one of the artists that we had on. Mm-hmm. So you yeah, know, you gotta, exactly. you gotta we all give and take each other. You know what I'm saying? Like. And what I'm gonna take is uh, for our next episode. I'm gonna take that nine by twelve sheets of paper and I'm gonna <laughs> use that. You're gonna see me with a big, <laughs> with a whole script. Yes, with, with a whole, whole script. script. I'm they're, that. they're they're you know. Talking my chain, what do you say? Or yank, yank, yank. They're yanking my chain because I have so many questions for them today. Should we just Ooh. get right into this? That's good. That's All good. right, so for the people who don't know, the Hip Hop Advocates is a platform for artists to come on, talk about their journey, and right. these guys have a great way of researching the artists that they have on and kind of making them feel important, right? Like when I went there, I felt like I was like some superstar. Like <laughs> they looked me up, they was pulling videos, like it was a whole vibe. So thank you. I know for me, it made me feel special. So I can only imagine for someone, you know, another artist getting to go on your show. Well, that's, the, that's the goal right there. Just to highlight everybody that's there because everybody's creative, everybody has talent. And we just want to let the people see that. Where does your show, show air so that the people can so on Definitely. YouTube, Spotify, everywhere. 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 Usually on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. So yeah. make sure you stay in tune. So I want my audience to get to know you guys a little bit more. Okay. So we're going to play a game. Mm. You know how uh, I feel like it's like on TikTok or Instagram that it goes viral where like couples, it'll be like, who's more this? Mm. Who's more that? Oh, and, you, and you point. Yeah. Damn. I don't know why, but I had a feeling you were going to Really? Well, here you go. You know, you know, marriages and, and couples break up after those shows, right? Well, let's yeah. see. This is the, the truth of wow. the test. The the this is the test. The 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 <laughs> so, we're going to just, these are going to be lightning rounds. We're doing lightning rounds. Mm. And we're going to get to know you guys a little bit better. Don't look at my questions. That's why I sat here. I'm trying to cheat. Yeah, he's such a cheater. <laughs> Who's the most likely to take forever to make a decision? Mm, mm. <laughs> Who's most likely to become a famous artist? Ooh, or give it a fix. Oh, okay, fix. look at that team effort. They giving you, sense. they giving the team. Who's most likely to get lost? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's GPS. more likely to get a fight on the internet? A fight on the internet, probably me. Mm. <laughs> He's hot headed. My man in Rupp is hot headed. Who's most likely to be first? Up first on Christmas morning. Shit. I'm probably I'm me. Around. I'm always the first one at every event. Last but not least, who is most likely to have something named after them? Could be a monument, could be a disease. Oh, yeah. Hey, the figs. Damn. You got the figs, yo. You got the figs. Damn, I want the figs, bro. The figs. The ferocious figs. Yo, that just gave me an idea. I should remake the vapors. Oh. Fig. Caught the figs. 
All right, so guys, obviously you have a podcast, you guys do your thing, so I'm sure you are up on trending news situations like that. So I figured I'd throw some trending news and get your feedback on it, see where you're at with it in life. Absolutely. Um, how do you guys feel about Trevor Noah leaving The Daily Show? Oh, he's leaving? How do yeah. you know? He already left? No, he's made his announcement, and he's leaving, I believe the date is December 8th. Yeah, That's on um, Comedy Central, right? Yeah, he yeah. made it through Trump presidency, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. pandemic, post-pandemic. So he took over Stewart, right? What was his name? Uh, yes. America. He was dope. Yes. I like him. Uh, yeah, he took know. over. He was. It was iffy because of the UK accent. But he's South Africa. But he has that yeah, accent. He has that, yeah. that, 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 London, that London. Australia? Yeah. No, London, like London. London. I think that that's the African accent. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, damn. We don't know shit. That but I, know, I do know that he's, he's stepping down because he wants to pursue uh, comedy more, stand up, and, and get into that. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes. so you knew already? Yeah, yeah, that's. Okay. I work around He will be yeah. missed. He will be missed. I like him. I like him. Yeah, he was dope. Like and he grew out his head, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it was a plus. Yeah. I was feeling natural. We keep it natural. Yeah. What we got? Um, all right. Let's ask a question. Who do you think lost their job today? So last week during Cardi B's birthday party, apparently oh. Jamie Foxx showed up to Cardi B's birthday party with his posse, you know what I'm saying, ready to go to the club. They walked him in. And basically walked him out and was like, we don't have room for you here. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Yo, Foxx. He was tight. I saw that. I saw he that was tight. tight. The cameraman got him, but Jamie was professional. He didn't curse nobody out. He didn't say anything. Yeah, but who do you think lost their job? Uh, probably the manager. Of? The club. Promoter. The, the manager? bouncer, I want to say. Whoever yeah, because outside. Whoever, I mean, right, because there's, especially in New York, there's. They're not the in New York. I believe it was in Cali. Oh, that was in Cali. I don't know if that is a different monster, Cali, right? Well, regardless, LA. LA. Yes. Yes. But regardless, they, you know, they have um, what do you call it, capacity limits and shit. So that's what oh, you know. Usually, Jamie but Fox. it's Jamie Fox. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to know. They should have let him in and yeah. kick some other niggas out. Right. <laughs> you know so, you know? who do you think lost their job? I think it's Ramona. I'm rethinking this. Somebody, somebody in security. I would think the door girl. Yeah, the doorman. The doorman, right? But that's yeah. usually the promoter, right? You're no, usually, no usually the promoter's promote. inside. Inside. All right, so that was deep. Shit, that was deep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll lighten the mood. We'll lighten the mood. We're gonna switch over to something that I like to call "Let's Argue." Oh damn. Okay. Drama. But you know, usually, no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> the people I have on my show are usually a little bit younger than me, so I can feel like I actually can have a real conversation right now, right? So we can argue, and don't take that as offense. I'm not calling you old. She dating us. We're gonna do what I like to call let's argue. Recording something off the radio was better than buying the cassette. Most definitely, because it was cheap. Yeah. Free, free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. Okay, no, I didn't know because you know you guys I like hip hop, like you would buy the. Like, you come from an era like me where you buy the cassette, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying, getting it off. No, yeah. I used to buy cassette, the, the big 12-pack, 24-pack. I used to dub uh, from Master Flags, DJ yeah. Clue, yep. and I used to sell it like it was my mixtape. <laughs> the DJ, on DJ Clue. And on the on pause DJ button, I used to, <laughs> so it sounded like a little scratch. I used to, I perfected that shit. <laughs> Matter of fact, what I used to do, I used to get the Nas, but this is a little... Fast forward. I used to get the Nas album, and people would ask me for, "Yo, can I buy it off you? Make me a copy." I used to take one of the, I used to take one of the songs, drop a verse on it. Wow. Load it up and it? give it. Yeah, Remix yeah. It. I've done that a few times. Yeah. I'm like, yo, how you like uh, track six? It's crazy, right? I'm like, yo, this shit was hot, but they would never like figure out it was me. <laughs> like, I know. Wow. Well, that was illegal, but we're not gonna talk about that. No <laughs> You know, hip-hop advocates advocating. <clears throat> cereal goes in first, not milk. Cereal. Cereal first. Cereal. All right, we're not arguing. Cereal first. Right. Some people, yo, some people, you see? Who does You that? see? No. Milk in first? I, all day. I like wow. To, I like to measure my milk. Yeah. With the cereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah how much yeah. cereal how much, I got. How, how like, much milk goes in depending on how much cereal you stack up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... 
let's argue, and this is kind of a main topic that we I want to argue yet. I want to argue. Well, let's get yeah. into something. Let's <laughs> talk about it. Is clout chasing being a social climber, or is it like marketing, or is it just whack? All, all of the above. <laughs> I think it's whack. It's trash. All the Cloud clothes. chasing is definitely whack. It's, it's definitely a marketing tool. But yeah, but nowadays. But yeah. I guess there's a way to do it correctly, and there's a way not to do it, you know? Can you elaborate? What would you say is a bad example of cloud chasing and what is actually marketable and smart? I would say, like, if you if you went to the club and you saw Drake, you took a picture with Drake. And now you're like, yo, I'm with Drake, yo, we're gonna hang out next week. And like, you're making it seem like that's your man's. But you're not, that's not yeah, your man's. Yeah. He just took a picture with it's a definitely man. definitely cloud chasing. That's sure. cloud chasing. That's corny. Yeah, yeah, that is corny. You know, like, people, got, <laughs> people got caught. But yeah. that's how people sometimes, at the same time, people Samuel, market themselves. Samuel L. Jackson exactly. was in an airport, and the dude was like, yeah, let me take a selfie, he took a selfie. And he was like, yo, chill on my man Samuel. Samuel L. Jackson. Went on the comments like, fool, that was just a picture. I don't know you. Mm. <laughs> now he looks like a dick, right? Yeah. Uh, Remember the whole Bow Wow shit? Like, definitely. Like, on the private jet. jet. But he was like, he was faking it. He, he was, was yeah, way. he was in a jet. Like, right, he was in yeah, it. Yeah, but it was bullshit. Bullshit. So, Cloud Chase. Sounds like it's all of the above. All the above. But wait, so Drake came out in an interview and he basically said, like, we manifested or whatever, like that they had like some dream car and like for the video they had rented it or something stupid like that. Like it was not him whatsoever, but him pretending to be like that, like it gave the illusion to other people. Then that created an illusion, like and it was like the perception, perception. of Ooh. faking it till you make Maybe. it. We talk about perception all the time. It's yeah. the industry. That's what it was about. So that's what I'm saying, like. Are you whack for doing that? Like all these Instagram models and stuff. Yo, I seen some girl in the comment like she had like 150k bags here, planes here, and it's like, yeah, bitch, but you don't show your house. Where do you live? Mm -hmm. Like this is all pictures. Sleeps on mattress. Right, right in the projects. No, like no furniture. Right. No furniture. No so yeah, I don't know. I guess there's a positive and negative with it, but but that's the thing is that is the perception. You have to look the part, right? Mm hmm And you don't wear rappers. Yes, I forgot which rapper came out, and he was like, yeah, I used to wear fake jewelry. Like, straight up, like, four fake-ass chains. Yeah, yeah. I see that. Ocho Cinco, he's a football player, he's an ex-football yeah, player. He wears fake sure. watches, fake jewelry. He's like, look, why? I have the money. I know I have the money to buy, but why am I going to spend money on something that someone could, you know, rob me or try to kill me for? Yeah. Perception Doesn't make sense. Bitch. Yeah, and then you got these iced out watches that you appreciate. You're not so gonna get your money back. Yeah, yeah, diamonds are literally like not actually worth anything, but what the store that sells it to exactly. values it at. Exactly. Yeah. No I problem. learned that when I was trying to sell my engagement ring. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I know my ex husband paid like seven G's for it, and when I went to the store, they were like, "Oh, you got this at K's." Oh, nah. That's like $300. Wow. I'm like, nah. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I, got, I have the credit card receipts. Like, look, that shit was seven Gs. And he was like, nope, that's what K's told you. It you was couldn't great. even trade it in. And I was like, how is that legal? And then he told me a law that um, it, depending on how much the diamond store pay in rent, if they pay a high rent, like mm -hmm. I forgot the threshold, but after they reach a certain threshold, they're allowed to sell you whatever they want for however much they want, as long as they maintain that rent. But what mm -hmm. about the size of the, the rock, the cut, right? Right. Um, the clarity. Where it was made. Well, like the type made. of... So, it's just, you know, it's a great industry we're in, isn't it? What a crime. Right? What a crime. Well, that wraps up my let's argue. We didn't argue, Damn. but, you know. I was really getting up to get some. I was getting red though. <laughs> well, we didn't have you sweating anymore, so. I know. You dried up. Cool <laughs> How's the DJ coming along? Oh man, still working on it, still building. Oh, all right. You need to come back for to give him some more inspiration. Still building right. uh, my what do you call it? My catalog, my song okay. music catalog. You know. Well, whenever you're ready, I can share some record pools with you. Give you abundances of music. We actually on the take one video. It looked like I was DJing, but I wasn't doing the shit. Perception. Mm, it's perception. all about perception. <laughs> it's all about perception. You, like, see uh, him. you see him. You see him. I know. I know. This is definitely not how you fucking cut. Mm -hmm. But yeah.
but here I am, <laughs> cutting shit up. And it, and it looks pretty good. It looks yeah. pretty good. Yeah. That's good. But it's still working on it. It's mm. a work in progress. We're building. So I see the three of you as a unit are making moves as well. I heard you have a little show coming up. You got a vibe coming? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Uh, what is it? Talk about the, it. Tormenta Telethon. Okay. Yeah, it is. Hurricane Relief for Puerto Rico in DR. Yeah. Hey. It's big. It's big. It's for the community. Yeah. Shout out to Rachel La Loca. I invited us. Definitely. She's going to be a guest on the show too. Awesome. Rachel La Loca. Mm -hmm. Sounds crazy. I like it already. Mm -hmm. When so, is that show? That's the 18th. That's on Tuesday coming mm -hmm. up. Okay. It's going to be a lot of, it's, it's mostly comedians. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be standing out, you know, a little uh, hip hop mo movement is going to be there, holding it down. Yeah. It's going to be, be good. Real good. For sure. For sure. It's going to be real fun. I might, I might bust a joke out just while we're there. You know, I might do a little stand up, try a little comedy, you know. Yeah, why not? DJ wasn't working. Now you hey, you know, you gotta just keep trying. You gotta keep trying. Shut up, I won't make a fool of myself. I'll just rap. <laughs> That's always good. Is there anything else you wanted to make sure everybody learns about you today? I know we got to know about you a lot through all of my very intense questionnaires. Well, we want one thing. Uh, we just recently dropped an album, mm -hmm. which is uh, self titled The Hip Hop Advocates. So you guys can go check that out. We got two videos for it as well. Uh, take one video and merry go round. You guys will really like it, especially if you got hip hop heads. Mm. Definitely, definitely. That hardcore shit. Yeah, we air on Tuesdays. And we kept it with the Tuesday theme. Back in the day, the album used to drop on Tuesdays. Mm. Just to run to the store and on the numbers. And mm -hmm. When did this start, guys? Shit. During the pandemic or right before? Well, the show part. Yeah. Well, the artistry as Ooh. well. 2006. Long time ago. Who came around. up with the idea? We should just rhyme. We still we met real shout out to Reels. Shout out to Real. He a real, real one, Reels. you heard? He's a real one. Real one. And um we used to record at his studio. Mm. He was partners with our man Maniac. Maniac, Damn. incredible. He was rhyming with he was rhyming. We were rhyming together. And we were always together anyway. So yeah, we just you know? started rhyming together. And then we stopped. He kept going. And then we just picked it up. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys enjoy more, creating or watching the final product? Definitely creating. I love creating. <laughs> yeah, the creative part, I think that's that's it for me. Yeah. I love making yeah. shit up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, we'll, we'll come up with one idea mm -hmm. and then we'll build off of it. We'll each have an input and it'll start like this and then when we're done, it'll be like this. And it's great because we all have a share in it, and it feels good to, to work that way. And a lot of great arguments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah, <laughs> me he always, I'm on one end of the spectrum, he's always on the other, and my man's usually in the middle. So we're always able to compromise and get to where we need to be. Uh, I'm advocating that, I'm always playing devil's advocate. Mm. When it comes to these two. I'm very like structured, and I want to plan everything, and everything needs to be perfect. He's just like, I'm on let's do whatever. Game. Let's free ball it. Yeah, and I'm like, hell no, no, we can't do that. Are you crazy? Yeah. So, um, I'm the man crazy. without a plan, but with it. <laughs> so maybe that's why it works. Yeah. That's why it works, God damn it. Uh, what's the goal, the ultimate goal for you guys? Shit. Do the, the show sky. full time. The sky. The sky. Yeah, that'll be lovely. So full time, that'll be our full time job. Yeah, we love. I mean, honestly, like with the show end aspect of it, we, since it's not out, you don't see that anymore out there as far as like on major television. Is uh, artists being showcased like you know like Rap City used to do? But everybody, you know, if they have it, they're doing it for big artists that already know. Mm -hmm. Our, like we love finding artists that nobody knows about. Mm -hmm. They're bringing that out to the forefront because that's how we learned about a lot of these artists that we now grew up with. Mm -hmm. They came out of nowhere. Yeah. And now it's like everybody's being cooked and microwaved and then they're being brought out already like they're already fucking, you know, served already. It's mm -hmm. about hip hop. It's it's about about hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop advocates, you heard it here first. No fucking flip flops. No flip flops, no microwaves. <laughs> Ain't nobody serving people over here. You heard? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you shout out your handle. De La Music. At Efrai Ruff. At John Facebook. Y'all want to put that shit on private. So. At the Advocates. At the Advocates. At the Advocates. At the Hip Hop Advocates. 
Hip Hop Advocates. Get in tune with their podcast. It's fire. And if an artist wants to be featured on your show, how do they do go about that? DM us. Yeah, the DM. Shoot a DM. DM us. You know? They're yeah. advocates. You heard Hip Hop Advocates. Make sure you get in tune. I'm here every Saturday, 8 p.m. Latino Mix. And we only bring fire vibes. It's you heard? Yeah. Meow.